In the town of Ivelginsk in southeastern Siberia, the essential rhythm of life has changed little for centuries. The Tsars and the Communists have come and gone, but Buryatians have managed to hang on to their faith. For the novices and lamas at the Ivelginsk Monastery, the day begins with ritual devotions. The people of Buryatia follow Tibetan Buddhism. Their spiritual head is the Dalai Lama, whose own history as a political exile has particular resonance here. Like most minorities during the Soviet era, and especially under Stalin, the Buryat were persecuted. Thousands were sent to labour camps, monasteries and temples were destroyed. The Republic of Buratya is the centre of Buddhism in Russia, and if there's to be a re-flowering of Buddhism in this country, it'll come from here. By the standards of the spiritual world, Buddhism is a relative newcomer here. It only arrived about 300 years ago. But by the beginning of this century, it was well and truly entrenched. And just before the Bolshevik Revolution, there were 46 Buddhist temples in Buratya alone. By the Second World War, though, that number had dropped to just one. And it's only since the collapse of the Soviet Union in the last few years that there's been any serious revival. The monastery's main function is to train new lamas. But the head lama, Ganshur Dadnaev, also acts as a doctor and general advisor to the local community on just about anything. Is there a genuine revival of Buddhism in Buratya? Yes, it is. It's a great one. Not only for the Buratian people, but for the Russian people. Buddhism. All of Russia. Огромное возрождение, потому что существуют сейчас дацаны, открываются в Москве, Ленинграде, Вильнюсе, Рике, в Ташкенте, даже где мусульмане живут, в Владивостоке, все, везде. Bimba Darjiev is a Buryat. His ancestors came here from Mongolia, along the same route that brought the Buddhist faith to this part of Russia. For Bimba and his wife Tamara, the daily routine includes following Buddhist rituals in the home and passing the tradition on to their children. Духовное возрождение народ, наверное. Хотелось бы, чтобы это началось быстрее. The Buryat have suffered decades of persecution for their beliefs, decades of being told religion wasn't necessary. Rebuilding their faith is the key to maintaining their identity. 